Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist, the playlist of videos where I showcase older electronic devices, mainly phones and iPods, in a form of retro style review. And what I have for you here today is the Nokia X302 or X3-02 uh, touch and type from 2010. Now this is another touch and type phone like the uh, C301. These two are released around the same time and I'll be covering this phone in a future video. I just have to fix its touch screen first. Uh, but this one works perfectly so we're gonna cover this uh, today so it's from 2010 so it's a 12 year old phone and uh, it has the combo touch and type feature like I said um, these phones were called semi smartphones and they kind of bridged the gap between a dumb phone and a smartphone or a feature phone and a smartphone because um, there's a lot of like in, in a lot of reviews online you'd find that uh, a lot of people mention these phones to be uh, the, uh, the the line between a smartphone and a uh, feature phone uh, nokia also uh, is not the only competitor that released phones like this uh, the no the motorola pro series the motorola pro motorola pro plus and i've covered a few phones as well uh, including the motorola fire this one over here i've done a video you can look at that also from around the same time these touch and type phones were around 2009 to 2012 ish they were really popular at the time uh, th that one is a qwerty phone these two by nokia are not qwerties as you can see there they are the old style keyboard uh, they look much better than the Motorola phones. They look really sleek. This actually is one of my favorite looking designs, the C301. And this one also looks really nice in blue. Um, so um, the Motorola is a full uh, QWERTY keyboards, touch and type. This one is just touch and type with the triple click to select. Um, so yeah, uh, bridge the gap between uh, smartphones and feature phones. And in this video, we'll be uh, going over all its features. We'll be demoing the OS. And you, if you're a common uh, viewer on this channel, you know exactly how we uh, take these videos and how uh, I do these. Uh, so yeah, so before we jump right in, as usual, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord, and Twitter, and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. And now, let's jump right into this video. Now, firstly, I want to mention that there are two types of, uh, well, there are two models of this phone, uh, the same design and same basic features. However, there are two models with uh, the difference is the processing power. Now, uh, and I think the video recording as well, I cannot remember off the top of my head, uh, but the video recording is also different. Uh, this one I have here is the older one, slightly older, about a month older than the revised version. The revised version is known as the RM775. This one is the RM639. So the 775 is the enhanced version. This is the 639. The differences are the processor on the 775. The ROM and the RAM are a bit better than on this one. And I think uh, I'll double, I'll go, when I go to the camera section of this video, I'll cover that. The camera uh, can record a bit higher frames per second on video or a higher video uh, quality than the uh, 639 model. So the 775 is slightly enhanced, um, but this is the base model 639. This one is uh, manufactured in Mexico and I got this for a really, really good price. Uh, here's the original listing, as you can see here, uh, about $25 or something. This phone is not very common in the US, but it's quite common in Asia and Eastern Europe. So let's power it on. Power buttons over here. Start without SIM card. So this phone you can use without a SIM card. Good old Nokia startup tone. And we are in the menu. So the battery on this thing is a bit old and we'll get to the battery a bit weak. I fully charged it yesterday. It's already dropped down. So now let's have a quick go around of the device itself and talk about its build quality and stuff. And then we'll get to the... Uh, we'll get to the rest of the phone. So bringing the phone up for a closer look here, as you can see, it's a really unique design. Um, really, I really love this design. No front camera though, uh, but um, I would have happily used this back in 2010. And I'm definitely gonna try and use this phone here in uh, 2022 as well. Um, so up front, we have uh, the display, uh, Nokia branding, Nokia X3 branding. There were other X3 phones as well, so that's why it's X3-2. Um, the <clears throat> sorry 
the display over here and uh, we'll talk about the display in a bit we have some buttons over here we have our accept call button we have our quick email we have our play pause well the play button and the pause button as well you can use that as a pause uh, we have the power button slash the call decline button as well and our old style triple click uh, buttons there as well uh, moving on to the side of the phone here as you can see uh, we have uh, some uh, volume buttons and stuff so we have the volume rocker over here we have the lock button so the quick lock button over there and we have a button on both sides actually to press and take the back cover off so that is the uh, side of the phone there we also have a place to put a lanyard there so you can put a lanyard in there and hang it on your hand uh, nothing on this side just that other button there to uh, release the back so now moving to the top of the phone, as you can see, we have our uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have our micro USB port over there and we have our slimmer style Nokia barrel charger. So the slimmer charger, definitely uh, after 2007, I think they switched over. I can't really remember. Uh, at the bottom, we have a uh, just the uh, a cutout over there and the speaker, obviously the speaker is in there. And that is definitely a microphone uh, hidden under there somewhere for, for you to talk into. And uh, yeah, so moving on to the back here we have uh, the Nokia branding over there as you can see and we also have uh, the 5 megapixel camera a really smooth uh, line grain pattern like that it is uh, really smooth that's just the pattern it's there, there's nothing grooved into it it's just the pattern uh, but it's really smooth as you can see there um, in terms of build quality this phone is as usual for Nokia's in 2010 solidly built aluminum back cover plastic at in these two parts are plastic so plastic and aluminum but the plastic is also really solid really well built a uh, overall solidly built phone and it feels great in the hand as well it's small and it's it, it really feels comfortable it's something that i would have gladly used the touchscreen is uh by the way resistive and we'll get to the touchscreen in a bit but overall really well built phone really uh solid you know the how phones uh, how nokia phones from 2010 felt um this one is a bit built better this is mostly well 90 percent aluminum it's got here and here as well uh the buttons are plastic but this is more aluminum than this uh this one is a bit premium than this a bit more expensive and heavy as well um but overall really well built phone i would have gladly used this uh, if I had the chance back in the day and I would definitely try and use this today as well I'm gonna definitely gonna do a video on this uh, So definitely stay tuned for that now. Let's jump into talking about the display all right, so now moving on to the display. So the display on this thing, uh, like I said, it's a resistive touchscreen, but it's a better resistive touchscreen. You can actually use the, uh, pa uh, the the pads of your fingers to press this. You don't have to press down with your nail. So these were the best resistive touchscreens. Nokia and Mo well, Mo Nokia alone, they easily did the best uh, resistive touchscreen. That's why uh, even some Nokia phones after the release of the iPhone, for example, the Nokia 5800, even after the release of the iPhone with its multi-touch capacitive touchscreen, phones like the 5800 with resistive touchscreens were still very, very popular because these resistive touchscreens are almost like capacitive touchscreens. And of course, since they're resistive, they're a bit tougher than capacitive touchscreens as well. And honestly, I would be fine with using this thing's resistive touchscreen. Let me bring it closer and you'll see I don't really put too much force not much force at all really high quality resistive touchscreens if you didn't know better you could have actually confused this for a capacitive touchscreen so that's why even the 5800 which i personally own back home I, I used that phone for a very long time back in 2009 2010 something like that uh and it had an identical uh, resist uh, resistive touchscreen that was really really good you could almost confuse it for a capacitive touchscreen uh the display on this thing as you can see it's a more uh, rectangular display it's uh two point four inches or so 2.4 inches like that uh 240 by 320 pixels so 240 by 320 like that uh with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio which uh gives it a rough pixel density of about 167 pixels per inch and uh, it's a lovely display for its size it, it can be used perfectly here in 2022 if you're okay with uh, the smaller size uh pixel density is a bit low if you look closely and you'll see the pixels however I took this outside and I was amazed of how well it performs. It's also really, really bright. So this is like medium brightness. Uh, it's a really bright display and a overall very solid display uh, for a, fo a phone, well, a feature phone slash sort of smartphone from 2010. Perfectly usable display even here in 2021. I'll be uh, very happy uh, to get 
into using this phone uh, in an upcoming video. I'll use, try and use it for a week. Uh, the SIM card still work on this. The 3G SIM uh, would definitely still work on this. This phone isn't too ancient, uh, but you can also uh, uh, try and talk to your career if you're in another country. There are still some uh, networks that still use 2G. So yeah, um, back to the display, like I said, great outdoor performance, really bright, really uh, nice display overall. Uh, not an, not a YouTube viewing display, but uh, it got the job done for what this phone is. I mean, you can watch a few videos on it, but it's not something you can settle down with for a long movie session, but overall a very solid display. Now let us jump into internal specifications. And uh, like I said, there are two different models of this phone, the 639, which is this one, and the 775, uh, which I don't have on hand now. Now in, for internal specifications, the um, let's go over the 639 first, this one. So the 639, um, has an internal memory of uh, 120, 128 megabytes and 64 megs of RAM. So the 639 has 128 uh, has a 128 meg ROM and uh, 64 megs of RAM. The 775 model, RM775, has 256 megs of internal memory or 256 megs of ROM or, uh, and uh, 128 megs of RAM. So double the ROM and double the RAM. Uh, the uh, 639 has again 64 megs of RAM, 128 megs of ROM, and the 775 has 256 megs of ROM and 128 megs of RAM. So uh, just double the uh, storage. Now in terms of processors, again, uh, there is a slight difference in the processors. The 639, this model has a 680 megahertz processor. Uh, if I eventually find what model of processor it is, I'll put it up here. Uh, either it's the same processor or it's a different processor. It could be the same processor just overclocked on the 775 model or underclocked on the uh, 639 model. Um, but I'll put it up here if I do find the model of process. It's probably Texas Instruments or something, definitely ARM based. So the 639 has a 680 megahertz processor and the 775 has a one gigahertz processor. And honestly, uh, there's no much of a difference, honestly, in terms of performance. This is almost, well, it is a feature phone. It's like I said, it's like border of a feature phone and a, uh, and a smartphone but uh, it performs just fine on the slower 680 megahertz process as well i've been uh, screwing around with this thing for like a week now well less slightly less than a week but i've been messing with this phone for a while and uh, i really can't tell uh, if there's a problem with the performance because the 680 megahertz processor gets the job done like there's nothing too major um, about uh, the difference, I guess the one gigahertz would have made a difference on the long term, but um, this thing performs just fine. And we'll talk about the overall performance in the software section of this video. Um, so that was that. Uh, this thing also has a micro SD expansion slot. I almost forgot to mention, uh, probably up to around 32 gigs. Uh, if, if it's not 32, I'll put it up here. So it's definitely around 32 gigs. So this particular one, uh, 64 megs of RAM, 128 megs of ROM, and 32 gigs of internal storage. The 775, 256 megs of ROM, 128 megs of RAM. The processor, again, 775, 1 gigahertz, and this, 680 megahertz. All right, so now we are here in the operating system and uh, this is the version this uh, particular phone is running. I don't know if this is the final version that uh, this thing supports, uh, but uh, it is version uh, 7.51 and it also says RM639, the version of the phone. Um, this uh, is not Symbian. A lot of people think this is Symbian, but this is actually S40 or Series 40. <clears throat> S40 is not Symbian. It may be confused with Symbian because they look alike, but it's not Symbian. Um, it is sort of based on a Symbian layout, and I understand why people confuse this for Symbian, but it is not Symbian. Uh, also, the Nokia 6300, uh, for another example, runs this exact operating system. It is the successor to the S30 platform, and uh, this is called S40, but it is not technically Symbian, but uh, everyone just calls it Symbian, but technically it is not Symbian. So let's have a quick go around of the interface here. Uh, this is the main menu over here. Um, 
This is customizable and I'll show you later. You can have a wallpaper behind as well. We have a bunch of stuff over here, camera, and you, you can change all of these. Sign in, favorite contacts and stuff. This is how I got the phone. I just left it like that. We have menu over here. We have a quick go to over there as well. We have uh, sort of a drop down menu. You can press that. And uh, if you uh, if you pr hit go to again, it drops down. You can press that. You If you do this, it does not come down as you can see. So it's not exactly a drop down menu. You just have to press go too but eh, it's okay <clears throat> so you have your bunch of facebook and stuff like that as well your names over here as well go into the menu this is the main menu you can also switch it to uh, grid view uh, if you want a list view so now it's in list view uh, you can also switch it to grid again <clears throat> like that so uh, that is the main menu uh, this is all there's no moving around we have apps over here so we have all our other stuff extras uh has uh just the memory card stuff stuff you can load on the memory card voice recorder to do list notes countdown timer stopwatch cal calculator alarm clock gallery blah 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 uh going back uh we have the music uh folder over here and we also have a quick music button if you may have noticed so we have a quick music button press it twice and all to that's actually quite really really useful uh, wherever you are you're using let's say the browser you're using facebook whatever when you press this button the music player comes up uh, we have pa uh, we have a uh, fast we have fast forward fast backward play pause in the middle uh the volume buttons obviously like i showed you earlier they can be used for changing the volume but uh, your basic music controls is over here when whichever yeah, app you're in so facebook instant well there was no instagram for this i think but facebook uh the browser wherever you are you press this and you have your music player so that is really really handy really really useful for a phone like this that's why I said this thing is sort of the line between a smartphone and a feature phone. Um, so Motorola's phones are like, for example, this thing, the Motorola Fire. This thing is f a full smartphone. This is a smartphone because it's full keep uh, QWERTY and it has a fully fledged Android operating system. Uh, like I said earlier, I did a video on this. You can go check it out earlier. I'll also put it in the description. I forgot to mention. This is a, f though, though it's a uh, touch and type as well, this is a full scale smartphone because it runs Android. This is not exactly there yet, but it it does have smartphone features. Um we have our gallery over here and your photos and stuff, videos. Uh, you can, you view videos separately. They're not with my photos. Uh, they're separately, as you can see there. Uh, but in later versions, they've all put together. Uh, contacts, calendar, internet, uh, messaging, uh, the OV store and uh, settings as well over there. Uh, we can go into the settings and I'll show you some of the customization. We have profiles, normals, and whatever profiles you want. We'll, Go ahead and customize the Nokia tone. We'll play tones in a bit. Uh, incoming uh, call video light effects. That means these start blinking when you're getting a call, vibrating alert, keypad tones, dial tones, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so you have your basic profiles there. Themes, uh, that is the background themes over here. So we have four built-in themes. You can press dark, so that is dark. We have light, we have uh, this, and we have pink as well. That was a, pink that was already on let's keep it on dark there oh select and apply there we go so we are on dark there um let's go uh, again so as you can see it switched to completely dark there uh settings again so uh, themes and uh stuff you can download more we have tones we'll play tones in a bit we have lights uh that's the lighting effects there and uh the display we have display calibration and stuff like that wallpaper so let's select a uh, wallpaper photos nope let's go to um graphics no it should be <clears throat> There should be graphics. Oh, here we go. So it has some built-in wallpapers. I had the blue flower thing on. So that is the wallpaper. So that is there as well, display. We can also edit the home screen. Like I said, personalized view. So uh, you have your stuff here. These are your three, uh, your four sections. So we'll change that. Uh, let's keep that on clock. Favorite contacts. Let's change that to communities. Let's no, let's change this to, let's see, um, radio and my music. Let's change this to uh, communities. And we have the shortcut bar there. We can change the Wi-Fi, whatever. You, you can put anything. Let's put web search there. Done. Yes. 
and um, we'll go back and it will show you the customization. So there you go. I changed that up to look different. So yeah, a lot of customization for a sim. Again, like I said, blurring the line between a smartphone and a feature phone. Um, so we have display there. It has some other settings as well. Main menu view, blah, blah, blah. Date and time, shortcut, sync and backup, connectivity, call, phone, accessories. You know this stuff, the, your basic stuff. Um, so yeah, that was the settings and we have the OV store here. I have not connected it to uh, Wi-Fi or put a SIM in there, so that's not gonna work. So I did connect the Wi-Fi uh, real quick there and uh, let's try and see what's on the OV store. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna crash. Um, I have not connected my uh, Nokia account to this thing as well, but yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, let's have a quick uh, look at the browser there. Let's see if anything go to Nokia's old website. We'll see if it loads up. Um, the domain should be the same as the new website. So, hmm, so it's loading, loading, loading. Why isn't it working? Okay, maybe it's confused. Let's go to web search. Let's do uh, Google. Let's search uh, Nokia. Good old typing with the double or triple click. Nokia, I used to be really good at this, so search. Let's see, we're using Google. So yeah, it, it does work. Uh, here's your basic old school browser. This is the same it, as it was so many years ago. So uh, there's some news, there's some stuff you if, you, if you really want, you can use Facebook. I'm pretty sure Facebook will freak out because it'll wonder what on earth did you log in with and your security is going to go flying off the roof. Um, but if you really want to use Facebook or something, you can use it. As you can see, uh, the internet is just working fine. Um, on this, let's click images, see if any images load. Um, come on. Oh yeah, images do load. So let's, if this is the G, is this the G300? I have a Nokia G10 on the way, by the way. So that's going to be an interesting video. Secure connection, not available. Full size image. Let's see if we can get the full size image here and see if we can save it as well. Come on, open up. Yeah, that, it's probably not, doesn't seem to like that, but yeah. Here we go back on this thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the, the browsing experience is uh, <clears throat> not, not ideal, but yeah, it, I think it sort of crashed there, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, that was the browser. So now uh, let's go ahead and uh, play some tunes. All right, so now to play some uh, tunes and uh, right off the bat, there aren't many uh, classic ones on this. Uh, just the Nokia tune and I think Kalimba, uh, I remember that. Uh, ringing volume is at maximum, so let's uh, go ahead and go into gallery. It's in gallery, it doesn't have its own place. You can also copy files onto this if you want. So uh, where's the, uh, where's Kalimba? So you know, everyone knows Kalimba, so. That's a common tone. So the speaker is at the bottom here. Like I said, we have max volume. It's not a very loud speaker, by the way. So. Well, I wouldn't say it's not loud, but there are, I've, I've seen smaller phones with louder speakers. And I think it depends on the uh, tone as well. So here's the classic Nokia tone. Okay, I take that back. This thing is loud. I think earlier when I was testing this before recording this, um, I was testing it not on max volume. Volume. Sometimes the phone uh, does not let you go to the max because, uh, of course, hearing uh, hearing restrictions and stuff, you don't want to have it always on the max. But now it is on the max, so it is really, really loud. So, yeah, I take that back. I uh, sort of didn't uh, really... Uh, double check to see if it was on max volume, but now since it is on max volume, it is really loud. I think xylophone was also a classic. I can't remember. Well, yeah, it is. This is sort of a classic. So yeah, just a bunch of uh, tones there. Not many classics, uh, smile. 
No, that's not a classic. But yeah, that's uh, some of the tones and the speaker demo. So here are some games that are on this phone. Uh, there's not much, but again, you can load games onto this thing. You still can load things, but sometimes the signature issue is there, the digital signature thing. Uh, so I don't want to deal with that right now, but this has some games on here. So we have Climate Mission, Guitar Hero 5, Hip Hop 2, and Memory. Memorize, uh, let's see, Guitar Hero 5. I can't play the game on screen uh, because of copyright reasons, so yeah. But I think because this is a game, it's fine. But uh, if the if the music is built in, I think it's fine. But uh, I cannot select music. Uh, my my channel is not currently monetized, but still, uh, I just don't want to uh, do that. So we have a bunch of characters here. Andorra, Eddie Knox, I guess you have only two for now. Let's see. Uh, Manta, oh, blocked. Uh, I haven't played this game in forever. Bones, whatever. Let's see. So uh, yeah, this is, uh, oh, so we have some built-in songs, I think. Are these songs? Lithium, Rock Show, Cairo. Uh, I can't remember any of this. Um, guitar. This is a lot of stuff for a simple game. Um, I played a newer version of this on the Nokia 5800, as I remember, but yeah, it's nice to see this thing still work. Uh, as famous by Blink182. So the game is built into the phone. It's a, it's a part of the game, so it's fine. How do you, how do you play? Oh, do you play this with like, restart song? How do you play this? You play this with the, I think you play this with, okay, there we go. Oh, it's a bit hard to play. Yeah, there you go. There's the, that's that. Okay, that's how you play it. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm not good at it like I used to be before. But yeah, that is just a simple game tour. Uh, game demo with uh, Guitar Hero 5. All right, so now we'll move on to the camera on this thing. And the camera uh, on this phone is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, it is a fixed focus 5 megapixel shooter, but it performs really, really well. I'll put some photos uh, that I took uh, in a bit. And uh, for a basic camera like this from a lower end, I wouldn't say super low end, but uh, on the higher end of the lower end, if that makes sense, uh, spectrum of pricing, the 80 euros to $100 range where this phone was from. Uh, this is actually quite a really interesting camera, uh, even though it doesn't have a flash. So I didn't put any nighttime photography. Uh, I didn't take any nighttime photos, but uh, I took some really good daytime photos with this thing. And you'll see them when I post uh, it in a bit, post the photos in a bit. So fixed focus, five megapixel shooter there, no LED flash either. Um, this thing can record video at uh, 480p at 30 fps. Now, I initially said that the uh, 775 model, the uh, upgraded model, the slightly upgraded model that is, uh, was the only one that could do 480p 30 fps, but the 639 model also can actually do 480p 30 fps. I double checked. Uh, so, uh, 5, megapixel, 5 megapixel fixed focus camera, no LED flash, can do a video at 480p and at 30 fps. Uh, I'll put the video and camera samples in a bit. So now let's go into the camera interface and I'll show you around the camera interface there. I initially had it over here. Let's go into, um, I think it's under extras. Uh, nope. Uh, where is the camera photos? Camera, there we go. So that's the camera interface. I put a 32 gig memory card in there. So it so it shows 999 plus, probably about 4,000 photos with this simple five megapixel camera. We have the battery over here. We can do up to four times digital zoom. We can switch between uh, video and uh, camera over there. Uh, you can also view uh, videos taken and photos taken separately. Like I showed earlier, take a photo with this and uh, go back. We have our basic camera settings here. We can switch to video as well. When you switch between video and camera, the settings obviously change. We have our self timer effects, white balance, photo sequencing and stuff like that settings. This photo quality, I've selected max quality. So if you select video camera, the settings again change for uh, video settings, maximum clip length, video quality, as you can see, 640 by 480 pixels, uh, which is 480p. And we have a bunch of other settings as well. Simple camera interface gets the job done and um, you can also switch between uh, portrait mode and uh, 
uh, landscape mode as well as you can see there so portrait and landscape if you want the option but uh, if you want to take portrait photos you have to switch uh, to portrait and you want to take uh, landscape photos you have to switch to landscape so that is the basic camera interface there and the camera and now i'll roll some photos taken during the day uh, followed by a video taken during the day as well and you'll see how good this camera is it actually surprised me quite a lot for a basic low-end fixed focus camera a uh, five megapixel fixed focus camera even without a flash it takes a really really good set of photos and i was really impressed but hey again it's nokia so it's not really surprising it doesn't even have call size optics or anything i mean this was the low end of things but yeah really impressive camera and we'll roll the samples in three two one So as you saw with those camera samples, like I said, this thing takes some really, really decent photos. Uh, some of the photos were really, really nice as well, but most of it was white as you saw because it was snowing, but I managed to take some good photos uh, with some buildings and trees and stuff. So really impressive camera there. So for additional features, uh, this phone, um, like I said, it's a really good line between a smartphone and a feature phone. And uh, this thing also has USB 2.0 on the go. So again, furthermore proof that this is the fine line between a smartphone and a feature phone. Yeah, this thing does have USB on the go. Plug a USB in there, go into the file manager and you can uh, browse your files through the USB. It's gonna be obviously somewhat slow, but it gets the job done. For additional features, this thing has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1. It doesn't have GPS, but it also has radio. Uh, uh, stereo FM radio with RDS and uh, like I said micro USB on the go downloadable ringtones Java MIDP 2.1 Facebook and Twitter application back in the day uh, of course the OV store doesn't work anymore so you have to side load them but due to the signing issues with the applications I'm not gonna deal with those now you have to sign them and stuff you have to get a digital signature thing so that's a bit complicated organizer voice memo predictive text input etc etc um, so quite a lot of uh, actually uh, impressive features there and again the borderline between a smartphone and a feature phone this is a great example of this phone it also had adobe flashlight so if you really needed that so now let's go on to the battery on this thing let's uh quickly power the phone off here and press and hold that and uh this button sometimes manages to not open okay it opened this time Let's do it to that side as well uh, 32 gig memory card as you can see there, there was a sandisk uh, class something let me see is it off yeah uh put the yeah sandisk class 10 32 gb ultra memory card so uh, it takes that card as well so here's the battery this is the battery bay bring it for a closer look made in mexico as you can see there it is made in Mexico. I've covered the IMEI number, uh, Nokia model number X30 X3 02 RM639. So, this is the somewhat inferior model compared to the upgrade updated 775 model. Um, and yeah, that's the battery bay. 
So the battery on this thing is a somewhat smaller battery. It's a BL4S battery, a Nokia BL4S battery, which is an 860 milliamp hour battery. On this battery, it has a standby time of about 500 hours on 2G and about 400 hours on 3G and a talk time of about six hours on 2G and a talk time of about four and a half hours ish on 3G. And you can play music back to back for uh, 28 hours straight. So again, this was somewhat of a music phone. They had marketed it separately with the music button and the music playback. So 28 hours for a phone back in the day is quite impressive. So those were the basic features and stuff of the Nokia X302. Pretty impressive phone. It's the fine line between a smartphone and a feature phone. Um, this phone is next, the C3 uh, thingy 0102, I forgot which one, uh, but this is next, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, it's also an identical phone, but a bit more premium. As you can see, it's built better and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this one is really, really impressive. It's a really nice looking phone. It looks sleek. It fits great in the hand, and it's the borderline between a smartphone and a feature phone with the extra features like the music button, the USB on the go, and a few other things that I mentioned. So really, really impressive phone from Nokia. Uh, uh, from about 11 years ago. So yeah, a phone that I really like to have in my collection. I'm definitely going to get the other colors as well. Uh, the colors that I mentioned earlier. The uh, So this color, like I said, is the petrol blue. There's pink, there's lilac, there's dark metal, and there's white silver as well. Uh, here's pic here are pictures of the other colors. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So those are the other colors this phone comes in. Uh, pretty really uh, pretty nice uh, phone metallic uh, colors and uh, I really like the form factor of this phone I really really like it so yeah I'll definitely get my hands on the other colors as well so stay tuned for that video coming soon and many other videos to come I have a lot of phones on the way from eBay and Macari and stuff so a lot planned for February 2022 definitely stay tuned for those by hitting the subscribe button down below and ringing that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you honestly like this video please Please leave a big thumbs up down below check out my social media down in the description below thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video